This is probably the proudest woman in Lebanon. Josephine Suleiman's son will soon become this country's 12th president. She invited us into her home, telling me of her immense joy and showing me the family photos. The picture of Michel Suleiman on his wedding day and another photo of the future president with his brother when he was just a small child. Pictures of the man now known as General Suleiman are all over the small town of Amchit, his birthplace. When he's formally elected as head of state, most of the town will gather in this square to celebrate. Not far away, the school he attended more than half a century ago. His teacher remembers a serious, hard-working boy. He was a very good, well-disciplined student. He stood out and was liked by his friends. They all wanted to sit next to him in class. Amshit is a mixed community. There's a majority of Christians, but Sunnis and Shias live here too. There have been some disputes. And a friend of the future president says everyone in the town turned to one man, General Suleiman, to sort them out. The way he deal he, uh, with our problems in Amshit, I think was so good that if he used the same way in Lebanon, it will be a, uh, a very nice and it will be a success. General Suleiman has headed Lebanon's army for a decade. They have been testing times. Last year, he personally directed operations when a militant group took over much of the Nar al-Barid refugee camp in the north of the country. And when battles broke out on the streets earlier this month, he managed to keep the army independent and united. Now, though, he faces the toughest challenge of his life as he takes office here in Lebanon's presidential palace. For six months now, the presidential chair has been empty, and given the violence of recent weeks, people here have high expectations of their new president. They want him to restore calm and stability to this country. General Suleiman has a lot to live up to. They are making final preparations at his new official home, while in his hometown, they can't wait to celebrate the success of their favorite son. James Bay's Al Jazeera, Amchit in Lebanon.